I think one of the one of the biggest challenges that that I think we see is user safety um, for us, um, and I think this is the case for a lot of social media platforms, and that includes um, that includes dealing with things like fake news, disinformation, hate speech. Um, I'm actually here today to talk about um, the title of our our discussion is suicide technology and the mental health of youth. Um, those are the things I'm really cons I think we're really we have huge huge problems, and part of that is I don't think we have really, as technology and social media have come online so, so quickly, um, I'm not sure that we have really educated, not just young people, we talk about the next generation a lot, but really everyone on how to use those platforms, how to navigate them, and still feel good about yourself and not feel, I think I focus a lot on thinking about young kids and young women in particular who maybe are coming online and, and, and having access to a lot of information and it's easy to compare themselves or their lives um, to what they're seeing online and it, and it had caught, there's a lot of implications and a lot of dangerous implications to that. Um, so I think a lot of it is about training um, really how we take on the challenge of training all citizens to think about how we navigate the internet not unlike when you get a driver's license in the United States or um, how lots of things are, are thought about. I think we've got to really work on on that type of education. Um, so we're really, this year, really looking into things like digital literacy um, and being even, Tumblr's always been very proactive as a team around mental health um, and eliminating and trying to address the mental health stigma. Um, but I think we're going to be even invested more in that because for all the reasons I said in that first question, I don't think we can control everything through AI. We can't um, hire enough humans to be able to create the safest possible internet. But what we can do is, I think, give people the tools to be able to navigate this new world that we're living in.